Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best B-Vans, in my opinion, that sits on the Ram chassis platform. This is a 2023 Thor sequence. Model is 20J. It's an amazing floor plan for a small Class B motorhome. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the sequence and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be taking a look at a Thor Sequence 20J. New floor plan, never been on the show. And if it's never been on the show, you know who we gotta ask? It's Becky! Hey, Hi. Becky! Hi, everybody! How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you so much. Amazing weather? I can't complain. Amazing motorhome. It is. Let's begin! All right, so this is built on the Ram Promaster chassis. This is a gas engine. You're gonna average around 14 to 16 for your your fuel economy. Yes. This is about 21 feet long. 21 feet, one inch to be exact. Okay, so perfect. It's going to fit in a normal parking spot. It's easy to parallel park, drive, grocery store, kids' ball games, whatever you can imagine. Not only that, it does sit on the Ram Promaster chassis, which is the engine. Oh, this is a 3.6 liter Pentastar engine. V6, yes ma'am. Okay. 280 horsepower, and I always say it wrong. I always say Penstar, it's Penastar. Penastar. Yes ma'am, continue on. Okay, so you do have, I like to point out these little lights down here, um, some fog lights, those okay. are pretty nice, because having a good light, when you're out in an adventure van like this, you're gonna be in some areas that it's not gonna be lit up, it's dark. Yes. So to have that, nice. Anyways. You can see on the Ram platform, it is a smaller in the front. So the chassis, the engine is, it's compact. So when you're driving this car, right? It's really easy to drive. It doesn't have, it doesn't have such a big front where you have to worry about parking it. All right, over here, you do have a nice big mirror. Yep. With blind spot monitoring built in too. The yes. mirror, I love that. Also, since this is a Class B motorhome, Becky, please turn the camera around. Yes. It does, not have a, <laughs> it does not have side view cameras, okay? But it does have, again, the blind spot monitoring, that what she said. And then look at these tires, Becky, and the Rodians. I love those. LT225-75 R16. Very nice. All right, so inside here, we'll open up the door. Nice grab handle when you're coming in here and a step. This is nice. Now, I sit up pretty high. I have plenty of headroom up here. Great vision to see out. Plenty of space. Plenty I of like space. the seats there. They do Plenty swivel. And then right here, we got cup holder and storage. And it has 1,990 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. That's a lot. Because this is a Thor, it does have the two year warranty, limited warranty. And then, uh, Becky, what can you tell us about the reliable battery system? All right, so instead of a generator, this has a lithium battery system. Wow. The lithium battery system will run everything inside your coach. Air conditioner, refrigerator, microwave, if I wanna plug in my blow dryer, laptop, it will run everything. So you don't have any noise like a generator. Wow. A little noise, a lot of these generators have gotten very quiet over the time, but. Yeah. So no noise and it runs everything inside your coach and it is repowered by the solar that's on the roof built in. And every time you are starting and driving your car, yep. it is repowering that battery back up. Amazing. It, it truly is a stealth camper. It is. Okay, so coming down the side here, you have this really big, I mean, look how long that awning is. Huge. With an LED light strip built in. Not only that, we have a very nice long running board as well. Now live. Okay. Here. Ooh, look. Man, this we got a little bit of wind. Let me get inside. Okay, yeah, this is going to be out. A nice screen, I like the screen, it's built in. It's kind of one of these um, accordion style screens. Yes. Instead of a screen where you have to latch on and Velcro, so a it's pretty nice. And not only that, like the little twisty things like that Thor scope we did a few weeks ago, a lot better than that. All right, so moving on. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, you've got nice power here. Yep. Um, this, this little contraption is for when the awning comes out, it has legs and it, you, 
lock it on there and it, it stabilizes the awning. Point. Like a mount? Yes. And then underneath there, there's so, a propane quick connect? For your barbecue grill. Yes, ma'am. All right, always got your head on these bike racks. So it does have that Thule bike rack on the back. I will open up the door and not hit you or me. So <laughs> here's how it works if you hold this, okay? <laughs> okay. When you guys are done camping, you got your widget digits with you and you load this up, what happens is you go like this and then you go like this and then this sucker will smack you in the back of the head really hard. And really the bike hard. rack leaves no forgiveness. You know it, what I'm saying? It, it does not, no. So while you get that other door open, here's what I will say. It is a really nice bike rack. Um, and again, it's perfect for van life. You just have to watch your head here because this sucker will hit you and it won't feel bad for you. All right, so back here, you do have a nice backup camera built in. Nice. Which is good for when you're driving, you're backing up. The, it is a longer, a little bit longer of a van. Um, now this is where your lithium battery system is. Nice. Okay, and that comes with a, when you do the lithium battery system in here, it comes with a 3000 watt inverter. All right, over here is an exterior spray port. So if you want to spray off your dirty beach shoes or your dog. Or your dirty dog, Jen. Bing. Please put a picture of my dirty dog right there. That's Yuna. <laughs> so anything you can imagine with that. A nice storage compartment. Now I know Matt always says that bees don't have storage. For a van, this is a very nice storage space. And I forgot to point out that over here, is where your power rear wheel cord is and have a spot for that in the back of the van is uh this i should mention because everybody was asking what is this what is becky do you what, know becky becky hang on what is this so this is for your Thule ladder it comes with this collapsible ladder which oh this hooks on i saw that at the show yeah i had one set up did you see it you did i did that's why you're becky b that is right none of those other salespeople had one set up did they no yep i did all right but it's cool because it's magnetic and you can literally put it on anywhere of the van i like to store them in the back of the door because it just makes it easy yep all right so coming along the side here oh sorry and you got a little bit of netting right there oh sure i'm sorry um all right, side over here, this is gonna be your Truma system exhaust that's for your hot water and your furnace. This is a cassette toilet. Yes, ma'am. I'm a big fan of a cassette toilet because it doesn't limit you to only dumping in a campground. You literally open it up just like that, it's on wheels. You're gonna take it into the restroom. You're going to dump it. Literally just move that, open up the cap, dump it. I like to take a bottle of water inside there to the bathroom with me, pour it in there. Now, Becky, hang on. I heard that these things clog up real easy. If there was only something that made it so it didn't clog up so easy and smell fresh. Guess what? There is. Bing! That's liquefied. Our Whoa. brand of RV toilet chemical. You can get that on Amazon. Okay. A nice light. So when you are doing your plugs and stuff and water yes. at nighttime, you have a place to see that. This is your... Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Yes, ma'am. Water uh, over here is going to be your city water fill, Zamp Solar, a Furion TV for your cable connection, a 30 amp charging port, and this is where you fill your propane. The propane controls your Truma system, and also your cooktop inside and the exterior grill cooktop. And then underneath oh. there, that's where you keep your sewer hose, but it. that's just going to be for your gray tank. I'm too tall. Like, I didn't yep, see you're too tall. Hey, that's why you, that got, you, you got friends in low places. I do. Okay, inside here, oh, gas fill right here for your car. Now inside here, you can see it's nice, spacious. I'm 5'10 for everybody at home. You see I have plenty of space inside here. I mean, I would almost have to actually move the seat up. Right, so definitely. All right. Really nice, Becky. I'm gonna join you on the inside, but first, we gotta give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. Do you love your pet as much as we do? Do you agree that they deserve the best? Then you need to check out Waggle, the best RV pet monitoring system. Waggle's a top-notch pet temperature monitor. It's made just for your pooch. Whether you're traveling in an RV or staying at home, you can assure your pet is safe with Waggle in three easy steps. Install Waggle in your RV, track it by downloading the app, and get peace of mind on your app when you're out on your adventure. And what's more is Waggle also gives you real-time updates on your pets. Let's keep your pet safe with the RV Pet Temperature Monitor, trusted by 10,000 pet parents in the RV community. 
Click our link down below that takes you to Waggle and use our promo code MAP for 50% off. The link takes you to a custom landing page where you can get an exclusive offer with our partnership with them. Thanks so much for Waggle for sponsoring this video. Let's continue the video. All right, coming around, Becky, I'm coming around the front. All right, I'm actually going to come in through the side right here. Okay. And I'm going to join you up front. This sunglass holder, see, I just found that. Lipstick, sunglass, you never know, right? Perfect, okay. so uh, turn the screen on, tell me what's going on here. All right, push button start. Love that. It's great. All right, now, all right, I just observed something, so. Oh, mm -hmm. hang on a second. Hold this. Uh-huh. Let me close this door. Okay. Because it's a little cold and windy. I'm really bad at the camera. Miss Becky, it. what did you just observe? Okay, I just observed that this um, chassis doesn't have all of the new safety features that oh. are available from Ram. And I see because it doesn't have the wireless charging port. Okay. Um, and I think that screen is like the smaller screen. It is, it so. is. So by the way, guys, the stock number 280016. Again, with COVID and everything, a lot of this stuff comes different. No mm -hmm. different than the Winnebago Revel a few weeks ago didn't have the power seats. This is why you must call Becky and confirm with Becky. Just because you see it on the show a certain way doesn't mean every unit's going to be a certain way. Right, exactly. So just continue on with what we got going on in here. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, it does have the adaptive cruise control, which is really nice. You're going to have the wireless if you'd like to have wireless phone. And every your radio controls are all on your, your steering wheel, so yep. it's hands-free. I like the shifter. This is nice. Right. Uh, this is, it is simple. It's a it's a truck, right? You've got charging ports, lots of storage on the passenger side. I just found this little nice place for my sunglasses. Yes, and you got storage here. So yeah, that's it. You know, cup holders down here, place for a little lipstick or yeah. And the seats swivel up here. Yep. Lots of overhead storage. Really like that. Yes, ma'am. I mean, these are the window covers and they're crammed up in there. Yep. So we got good. this for the sun. Visors and a nice little handle. Oh, and then uh, this light. I always forget to not point that out, but this light um, is super bright. Perfect. So let's continue on. All right. So back here, I like the seat here because it it gives you an option to sit here, but it's kind of out of the way, right? Yes. Um, a table, a lagoon table. Now that that uh, piece that we had out yes. in the back, this is the ladder and it attaches to the top of that. And that's what's magnetic that goes on everything up here. Now I'm being blinded by the sun. So I literally blinded just by the light. Oh, that there is a like a moon roof in here. I love it. Leave it closed. Oof. OK, but it also has a screen because this literally does open all the way. Love that. So but we will leave that closed. The Euro, the Euro style cabinetry, it's really bright, modern, lots of storage in there. Super nice. Uh, every window that opens will have a nightshade and also a screen built in. So that's pretty nice. And yep, and okay. when you sit down, can you oh. move that lagoon table right now or no? I sure can. Yeah, look at that. I love that. And oh, I forgot to point out. There are two seatbelts in here. I much prefer the sideways seats like that like as well. This, isn't, it's nice, right? Because it makes it a bigger walkway. We'll Same. talk about that in a little bit. Okay. Becky, right. show us this awesome kitchen. This is an awesome kitchen, guys. Solid this surface is, um, countertops. Solid surface. Ooh, this is nice. Hey, that's a nice tower of power right there. All right, sink, faucet, residential style on a swivel. Three nice drawers. Beautiful. And a two burner cooktop. Yes, ma'am. Built in. And this is a nice fridge. Wow. Steel very nice. Steel. And look, Matt, I think you could get a frozen pizza in here. For sure. So it ain't delivery, it's DiGiorno. Like it. Nice microwave. It's up high, like that. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Way up for us. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And then we even got a nice little window there in the kitchen. You do. Very, very nice. And a uh, splash guard, heat guard for when you are cooking here. Now, you can use this space right here behind me as two things. This could be hanging wardrobe, as you see. Yes, ma'am. Or you could add adjustable shelving in here and make this into your pantry. 
Wow. And you've got two plugs down here to point that out. Very, very nice. Okay, back here. Becky, yes. before you go back there, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Becky, MSRP on this motorhome here, VIN number 2880016. Is one hundred and forty three thousand two hundred and six dollars, Becky? That is MSRP. Thank you, ma'am. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Class Bs don't have the same style of markup as the other Class Cs and Class As have. But Becky, that doesn't matter because we still have it twenty one percent off MSRP for an everyday low price of one hundred and twelve thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars, Becky. That is a phenomenal price. But did you hear my key word that I said in that sentence? That is? No, it was <laughs> everyday low price. Oh. What that means is if you reach out to my team, which is Becky, she will be able to get you an even better price than that. So all you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash <laughs> Becky's cash, not Matt's cash, go to Becky's cash. We've linked that down below. So it doesn't matter if you're in Michigan, Florida, Utah, Pennsylvania, Virginia, that form goes to Becky. She works at the internet department. She'll be able to find you the right motorhome at the right location. And it doesn't matter which one is which, she will always get you the one thing and one thing only. And that is? The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. All right, Becky, show us what's going on back there. Okay, so back here, this is going to be your eating area because you can put a table which is in the bathroom here there's just temporary in the bathroom yep but this is also your sleeping space this whole area makes to a bed you also can work back here you can watch tv back here oh yeah a tv you want to hang out put your legs out comfortably however the cool part about this is there's three additional seat belts back here wow so you're saying this can safely travel seven seven, seven. unreal so even if per thor not, not per matt foxcroft per right. thor for Thor. Yes. Now, even you have children and you're you're traveling with them a sport, you can take this and then go to the hotel. Yes. Right? Okay. I assume, Matt, you're wanting me to make this into a bed. Does a bear poop in the woods? <laughs> Please make it a bed. Oh, actually, uh, first of all, I'll take the seatbelts off because this is I'm going to fold down. Uh, the seatbelts do fold in, so you don't you're not going to be laying on them yep. at night time. All right, so that was as easy as that, folding that down. Now let's see. My guess is it's this table. All right, sorry ma'am. That's okay. All right, so you're gonna take this table and you, there's two little... Lips. Yep. And sorry, and we're missing a cushion. It's oh. okay. Oh no, actually we're not. We don't charge extra for that. <laughs> okay. All right, that's that, that's your bed. That was, there you go, Matt. Bada bing, bada boom. That's right. what we say. Here I am. I'm I'm five ten. I have plenty of space. I could easily sleep somebody else over here next to me. Yep. Easy enough. And what most people are gonna do, Becky, they're they're gonna leave this open. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, like we don't need to hold hands and cuddle. You know, in van life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna it, leave it just like this. Yep. And so that way it's easy, so both people can walk out. You know what I'm saying? Right. We got nice balances there with a window. And reading lights. More lighting, more storage. Wow, very nice cabinetry. I just noticed underneath here is speakers, so I assume that goes from the radio there. Yep, and I just love the way this looks. Mm -hmm. um, air conditioning is back here as well. Uh, there is USB charging ports back here, and then I'm gonna get Perfect. out of Let's here. Let's set back up the so sofa. I can get... Show everybody how easy that is. Yeah. Very, very nice. All right, and then. Okay. That yep, that bad. TV swivels, and then let's take a look at that storage. Very nice. USB, HDMI, and more. Huge storage right here. That's Unreal. Big, isn't it? Yep, that's a ton of storage. Okay, and then yeah. Becky, over here, I got this. All right, you got it. We have a nice little mirror medicine cabinet going on. Great place for liquefy. Ooh. Nice uh, shower head. Nice little sink that folds up like this. You put that table stand right there, right there. It's a toilet paper holder. And then here, Becky. All right, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> How are you feeling there, Matt? Oh. <laughs> Relaxed. 
I will tell you this, America. <laughs> Becky, can you hear me? I can. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep it down so Becky doesn't hear me. Here's what I will say. This is gonna sound really bad, but my knees pushing on this door, right? So what I'm saying is, I'm not trying. It's not a private position, but this would work. But I don't want Becky to know that it would work. All right, Becky, typical typical class B bathroom there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how, how's it working out in there? Yeah, not good at all. But typical, <laughs> typical class B. But again, there is a little shower there. Here's what I will say. You know, it just is what it is. But it, it, it could work if you had guests and you had an emergency. You know what I'm saying? Um, we showed that. We showed that. Becky, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody goes, it's time to give people three things we love. Three things we don't love about this motorhome. What do we do first? Love. First. Yeah. All right, Becky. You've been saying that every time. All you... right, fine then. No, no, no. Wait. I'm just saying no, 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 no. <laughs> don't no. like. <laughs> We're doing loves first. I'm going to go first, Becky. I'm going to say this awesome kitchen. Solid surface countertop, nice sink, cooktop, microwave. You know what I'm saying? This is a really nice setup for a Class B motorhome. I really do like that. That is number one. Okay. Becky, like number two? Number two. Yep. Uh, my like number two is actually how easy this was to make into a bed. Yes. Because, trust me, and you know, yeah. if you guys watch Matt's channel, he's made some of these into mm. not, not good beds. Easy. That was easy. Easy. You could even figure that one out. That's number two. And then, okay. Becky, number three, I'm going to say I love the Euro style cabinetry and I love how nice and easy the screen door was. You know what I'm saying? Very, very easy to set up. And just so much better than that pain in the butt twisty one. Correct. Well, Becky, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Becky, what do we do first? Um, I'm going to do number one. Talk to me. I don't love that there's no storage under there. Ah, very. Could have been something. You know, and these I'm sure B vans. There's stuff under there. Right. There's a reason, but. But again. We don't make the reasons or the excuses. Becky just rather seen a little bit more storage under there. Right. That's number one. Becky, what is dislike number two? Number two, the size of the bathroom. Of course. I mean, even for me, it's a little tight. It, it is what it is, Becky. It's just, it is but again, you didn't hear me in there, but I do at least like <laughs> the style of doors. Yeah. But again, okay. that, that that's going to be an easy dislike for every Class B motorhome. Let's get a little creative with dislike number three. Okay. So what is it. this? Oh, you got it? I already got it. Talk to me. This I don't like. What is that? This is the table. I don't like that. I don't like this in the floor. The locking mechanism. No, and this is not. It is always a it's, pain in the butt. It's, it's I already, yeah. So it Damn. has been that yeah look and then it's loose and it's just oh, a weeble wobble you know what i'm saying even on there right so. right yep all right so you guys get it it's a pain right it's I a pain just, in the butt I, a lagoon table would be so much better it so take it out install a lagoon table you're good to go but becky that's it that's the review thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are interested in buying this rv or truthfully becky any rv becky is a b specialist but she can sell anything Go to generalrv.com slash Becky's Cash. I have linked it down below. Um, reach out to her. She works on my team, and she can sell you any RV at any location. But there's one thing that they all have, and that's the best price in America. Becky, what do you want to tell everybody? Thank you guys so much for watching again. Really appreciate all the support. And thanks, Matt, for having me. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this Thor sequence and three things you don't like about it. And Becky, we'll see you next time.